Hi everyone, today we're going to dive into the program mode on your camera. Now if you are a beginner and you've been using the auto mode and you want a bit more control over your photography without going full manual, then the program mode is a great place to start. So what is the program mode? For us to be able to understand it well, we have to go back and do some revision on the exposure triangle. And the exposure triangle is where we control the amount of light that gets into your camera. And we control this by controlling three parameters, your shutter speed, your aperture, and your ISO. Now, when you are in full auto mode, the camera controls everything for you and does not allow you to make any manual adjustments. The program mode, on the other hand, controls your aperture and your shutter speed. So you don't have to worry about those two it will set the correct aperture and shutter speed depending on the available light. But let's say you go out and you take this picture and it's not quite what you want. It might be too dark or it might be too bright. What the program mode then does is it allows you to control three parameters that you can use to either brighten up your image or make it a bit darker to get the exposure that you want. The first one of those is your ISO. If you find your picture is uh, too dark, for example, you can bump up your ISO so that you get the right exposure. The second control is called your exposure compensation. So if you look at the screen of this Canon, for example, you get this bar that has a zero value in the middle and some scales going to the left and to the right. This scale is called your exposure meter. So when you go to the right, you get a plus of values, one up to three, and then on the minus side, you get the same values, but minus. And these are called stops in photography. And so if you take a picture and uh, you are in program mode, what the camera tries to do is to get that value right at zero. That means that's a perfect exposure. It's not overexposed. It's not underexposed. But then you still have control so that if you find your picture is too dark, for example, you can now use exposure compensation to bump the exposure up a bit to get the exposure that you want. And you can also bump it down some stops if the program mode gives you an image that you feel is too bright. The third control that you can use to brighten or darken your image if you don't like what the program mode has given you is the flash compensation. And this works when you are using flash. You can bump the flash power up or down to either brighten or darken your image to your liking. When would you use this program mode? Well, first of all, if you are a beginner and you want to start moving towards manual mode, then the program mode is a very good next step in your journey towards mastering the other modes like the fully manual mode, aperture priority and shutter priority. You can also use the program mode if you are in changing light conditions. For example, if you are doing street photography and you really don't have time to be messing around with manual settings, you can use the program mode as a quick way to capture those moments without missing a beat. There you are, the program mode. Go ahead and try it and see how it works for you.